Hey everyone, this is Sabrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited to do December daily day 20 and 21. So this will be a little bit of a longer process video, but it covers all the days that my best friend came to visit. So this is what I am starting with a full page setup on the left that I did in the pocket style and also a two by two page protector with half of it cut off. It's just easier for me when there is a lot of photos to just put it in a two by two page protector instead of trying to figure out say something fancy to do with it. Um, sometimes I do and I've mentioned that before that sometimes I do try to do something fun and interactive but I'm getting to the end of the album and I'm running out of room. So two by two page protector would, is really the best way to get it all in there. I did make a fun transparent pocket and I did feeling so festive, a digital stamp brush from the in a creative bubble, uh, stamp set. And I just added some word stickers to it and also some hearts. And then I'll put some transparency behind it to make it a little sturdier. I did have one little uh, white paper pocket that I added in and I decided to go with a rainbow puffy sticker to kind of match the other heart puffy sticker on the left hand side and just added another word sticker and the gold puffy stickers. Those are like my go-to supplies with uh, de most December dailies, not just this one, but the puffy stickers, the word stickers, and chipboard. I just feel like they are the perfect touch to add to the project that I'm working on. For the journaling, I'm just writing about how my friend arrived um, on Monday. This was Monday the 20th and we decided to go up to Apple Hill to get a donut and see what kind of farms were open. None, pretty much. <laughs> we found one and got some donuts and then we headed back down and we went to a town called Placerville to shop around at all the interesting shops that were there. A lot of like um, unique places to go shopping. Like one place was called Treehouse and you could look at all the trees decorated with different types of ornaments. And we went in the toy store and I got my kids some little trinkets and uh, little gifts for Christmas. So it was a lot of fun to just be us um, together. Because that's the other thing. My kids were at a winter break type of camp. So my bestie and I got to hang out just the two of us. So that was really fun. Um, the town of Placerville has some interesting history, so I went ahead and covered up the photos. I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube or upset anyone. So if you want to see the photos or, you know, the history of the town, you can go look it up for yourself. But this is the back, and I am using a 2x2 two two, uh, papers again, just continuing that with the dotted red paper and then the green paper as well, and then just adding a little bit more of journaling and calling it done. Like, I'm just letting the photos really speak for themselves and not feeling like I have to add a bunch of extra stuff. So I just kind of listed out the names of the stores and called it done. And now I will move on to the 21st where we packed so much activities into the day. But for now, I'm putting this into the album and stacking up the two by two photos. That way I can just get all the pieces in there, take photos, and then I'll put the two by two uh, photos into the pockets. All right, so I am gonna move on to the 21st. Since this is going to be such a huge day, I decided why not use some more of those felt numbers. Plus it was a special day, just like number five was with my son's soccer tournament. So I put two of the felt numbers together, two and a one, and I came up with a title that I still have enough letters for, Festive Fun, because we literally packed so many different activities into one day and night. So festive fun worked and I just kind of squished the letters together. If I knew how to sew, I probably would have sewn the letters across to make them stay or ensure that they're going to stay. But the letters, like I've mentioned a few times, are really sticky. So I'm not worried about them 
coming off at all. Stapled two of the gold puffy stars on and then I will set that aside and begin working on a two by two pocket page. This time it is a full pocket page because there was a lot of photos. We started off the uh, day watching a movie together and then going to Target to do some shopping and then once we got the kids uh, later on because they were at a camp we decided to go look at some lights in a local court because we love seeing the different changes with each of the houses and what they add and what they take away and then we decorated cookies and watched a movie and opened presents so it was a busy evening I took my favorite photos and made them three by four and then for the rest of the photos I just made them two by two and I'm adding some more of that black script paper that I just really love. There's a red one and a black one. Just adding some of those and then I am going to use a white piece of paper just so I could add a few little notes about the different photos. Also using the red labels, so that way I can just kind of write a title. Thought that would be fun. I did add another felt piece to one of the three by four photos. That way I could have some more felt um, to kind of carry from the 21st. I had to write about my friend and his excitement for the Olaf statue. He is a kindergarten teacher and just loves Olaf and he wanted to share that picture with his students. So for this little uh, two by two white square, I just put like a bullet point list of all the evening activities that we did and just all the fun that we had. And then I will move on to the back side of the page where we decorated cookies and also opened presents. Now, we've made gingerbread houses together before and it was just a lot of, I don't know, for lack of a better word, waste. So I saw this one where it was like zombies and they're gingerbread. So I decided why not? That would be a fun twist on making gingerbread houses. So that is what I have and I'm adding in several word stickers. So I had to do a lot of rearranging with the photos and repositioning with the photos. Um, it was just, it was bugging me. Everything had to be cohesive. And I don't know, sometimes when you look at a layout, you're like, okay, well that red sticker can't go next to that red sticker. And then you have two cookie pictures that are next to each other. That was my line of thought. I was just thinking about it too much and I just wanted to make sure I had it everything balanced. So this white two by two piece of paper also has a label and I just wrote down like our cookie creations and kind of what the different presents were that we got each other. I'm going to go ahead and put everything in the two by two page protectors. With the transparency hearts I did put a second one on the back. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I don't. This time I really wanted to use a second heart um, just because they're so pretty and there's so many different patterns with them. I couldn't resist using a second one and the next portion of this is going to be a four by six floating uh, photo I had originally thought that I was going to have the photo plus a journaling card that kind of went into more detail about our get together but in a little bit I'm going to make a full outside the page protector setup for this card plus another photo that I had forgot to print. So for this card, I am just journaling about how this has been our long-standing tradition to get together probably for 10 years now, I think, and it's just something that we all look forward to doing and my kids love seeing Uncle Carlos and just hanging out with him and having that time together. And this year with, um, I think I mentioned this in the first part of the video, but it was just nice to get to have a lazy morning and just be us because that doesn't usually happen. But with the kids at camp, we watched a movie called Love Actually. We'd never seen it, so we got to watch that together. And then of course, I just journaled a little bit more in depth um, about our evening and how this is a longstanding tradition. So here is where I decided to make a full page outside the page protector um, 
spread because I didn't want to use another page protector. I just have been really enjoying using full page spreads. So I decided to cut some cardstock and use that instead. So behind the shopping photo, I put a photo of one of the houses that we saw and I put all the lights. You just saw that a minute ago. So I printed this photo of us at the tree. This is also a long-standing tradition to take a picture at the tree when Uncle Carlos leaves. So I took that photo and then the journaling card and put that below. And with the photo of us, I decided to make a flap so that way it could flip out. And I could include one last photo of the kids with their uncle and then journal just a little bit about that and call it done. So if you stuck with me this entire time for this video, I truly appreciate it. It was just a lot of fun. As always, having my best friend here to visit and as always, we wound up with a lot of photos and doing a lot of different things. So just wound up being a longer process video. I used a piece of green paper and cleverly, I think I said that right, clever, cleverly, <laughs> hid the shoes that were in the main photo with a two by two heart that I just stapled on. I used a red piece of 10 by eight paper that had a light pattern to it to back the four by six photo and then carried the label theme again and just put one small one with a word sticker and then just journaled about how this was one last photo with uncle carlos and none of the kids wanted to do it but i made them do it so there you go and that will complete this gigantic spread this entire gigantic spread these two days and i'm gonna go ahead and put the pieces back into the album and again this album is very stuffed and I'm having to hold down the pages to get um, pages into it but that's okay I'm gonna squeeze it all in so there you go that is day 20 and 21 all put together put back in the 21 and made sure everything is where it's supposed to be I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this one together. I'd love a thumbs up or a subscribe if you are new to my channel. Thanks so much and have a great day. Bye.